Origin Clear is transforming the water industry with revolutionary water treatment technology and innovative financing. With me is Executive Vice President Kim Berenger to explain uh, the company. And, and recently, the water industry achieved a status of unicorn. There have been some companies in this industry who have been unicorns, which is a private company worth a billion dollars. So tell me about that and what does that mean for the whole industry? Hi, Jane. Thanks for having me back. Good again. to have you. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's very validating. Well, I've only been screaming about this for five years. Welcome to the party. Where you been? In actuality, that unicorn was created um, through private venture capital. Mm. So the, the difference is, I think the street's waking up to the fact that this is a massive underserved business and, and, it, and it's nothing more enduring. The technology can change day to day, but water is enduring. It will, you know, it's not going to go out of style, I suspect anytime soon. It was incubated by venture capital. There was no individual investor access. So if you and I said, look, I love this idea. I want to be involved. We're, we're boxed out. Origin Clear, what we're doing is the exact opposite. We recognize that in a trillion dollar space, you're probably going to have more than one unicorn. This is a unicorn creating space. Um, we want to develop the next one, hopefully, mm. uh, but focus in exclusively on individual investors to provide kind of what I would call mainstream investors or accredited investors with the same access to the same opportunity and structure it in a way that creates generational wealth. Yeah. Now, and I did read that the world's first trillionaire will be from the water industry. So how will that happen? Is there a way that Origin Clear can benefit from that? Yes and yes. So um, again, I think, I think every time I've spoken to you, I keep mentioning it's a trillion dollar opportunity and people are like, yeah, it's water. But really, I, I think the way to, to phrase this is this. Yes, it's been a trillion dollar opportunity all along. Um, and I believe that the quote came from Forbes Council. Mm. So you have to ask yourself, okay, a trillionaire can be created. That's gonna be an early player for sure. I don't think you can be a late stage investor in something and create a trillion dollars of wealth. But let's focus on the fact that it now is quoted by Forbes Council as it's gonna have the ability to create a trillion dollars plus of wealth. Now that's either gonna be one individual, um, but what's the real benefit to that? What we believe is by focusing on the individual investor, we believe that there's a lot more impact and a lot more benefit um, of having a trillion dollar wealth creation opportunity and maybe decentralized water, decentralized, decentralize the opportunity, create maybe a million millionaires. We think that's a lot more impactful. Yeah, so just a trillion dollar industry, and I guess that's what you know we've talked about so many sure. times. And and you've said before, water is the people's asset. So it's obviously something we need to survive. I mean, what do you mean by that? Um, how could that benefit viewers? Right. So the other part of your question was, how do we benefit? Well, big money is finally pouring into water. We're seeing Forbes Council say there's going to be a trillionaire created from it. We see now the first of many unicorns being created. Here's what's interesting about the company that just created a unicorn. It's exclusively in private water infrastructure. Okay. This is entirely what we do. Mm -hmm. Now, they're developmental stage, but they're going to do, I've, I've often said, you know, if you're Anheuser-Busch, if you're Pepsi, if you're Big Pharma, you don't need decentralized water pay per gallon. What you can do is basically c construct a hundred million dollar system, hire engineers round the clock, and you're not really a polluter anyway. Big businesses aren't. It's the small businesses that don't have access to that. Mm. So they're doing what, they're now in the developmental stage, what we've been already successfully doing for years, and I think that will be the benefit because the world is waking up to what we've been, kind of that lone voice in the wilderness for a while. Now the world is going, oh yeah, water, that's huge. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's nice to be right even if you're a little, you know, a little late to the game, yeah. right? Um, now, to answer your question about people's assets, yeah. MLPs were a, an instrument that was created 40 years ago, and it kind of catered to creating generational wealth for the affluent, accredited investors. It's been magnificent at doing that. It's got tax benefits. It's got income that protects against inflation. It, that came along when big oil was already a century old, okay? Water, again, the people's asset. If you're going directly to venture capital firms, if you're going directly to hedge funds, it's not going to be the people's asset. Mm -hmm. It's going to be VC's asset. It's going to be hedge fund asset. Mm -hmm. We're focusing entirely on creating decentralized water systems. Each one will operate like an oil well for water. Okay. okay? And by focusing on individual investors, 
we believe we can deliver that wealth creation opportunity and again, decentralize it among millions of individuals, create the same wealth creation opportunity, but we, in a way that we think is, well, I hate to use democratic, but it is, it's a little bit more decentralized than democratic. Yeah, well, and it definitely is an industry that seems like it's in need of disruption, so. For sure. <laughs> uh, here, here's, what I, here's what I think you're gonna find. Now that it's being vocalized by someone outside of our kind of where we came from, Water is a highly technical business. It is very technologically advanced. I don't know if you know this, but there's an absolute land boom going on right now in the United States. So I have some wonderful video I'd like to share with you about a couple of our technology wins where we've gotten some installations. One of them is in Denison, Texas, just north of the Dallas area. But from Dallas up to the Oklahoma border, there's a quarter. There's an absolute land boom explosion. Thousands of manufacturers are gonna be popping up, we think, over the, cor you know, the, the course of the next 10 to 20, even 25 years. Now, manufacturers can't operate where there is no infrastructure. By doing what we do, by dropping these in like the Denison, Texas location, we can create a decentralized private water infrastructure system faster than they can even put up the building. You're gonna see thousands of manufacturers come back from China, land in the United States, and by doing this, we can help facilitate an American manufacturing renaissance. And that's really exciting because, not only because of the capital it creates, the jobs it creates, the, the, and, and of course the wealth. Yeah. And, and to be the focal point of that, or to help facilitate that, is really an exciting prospect. Yeah, no, that's really interesting because these companies need water, and they may have to wait for years for some municipality to install a... Think about it, right? Think about it. So uh, we're going to build a manufacturing plant as soon as they build 100 miles of pipe. Yeah. It's not going to happen, right. right? We could literally build them as fast as the building, yeah. which I think is super exciting. Okay, so last question, Ken, uh, just about your customers and um, what is it you have so far. How have they been, um, they've been happy with the service? What kind of experience have they had? I'm so glad you mentioned that. Okay. <laughs> when a 30-year veteran engineer says, holy cow, guys, you've blown me away. You just handed me the easy button. Honestly, I was amazed. I was really looking for the easy button so that we can focus on doing what we do best. You get that guy on recording saying, can you say that again, please? So we've got a number of installations, North Texas, in my own area in um, Moscow, PA, they're putting in systems that are just changing the way people can develop property, both for the industrial and, and residential. Now this is still an industrial focused application, but I believe it will, it'll, it'll, kind of, in, it'll kind of expand out into the residential home development market. When people have been gotten used to having a certain way of operating, and they think that's their only option, and you get the brilliance of a Dan Early coming along with a decentralized system saying, here you go, you're in business. And when they're impressed with that, you know you've, you've gotten kind of the right, you've, yeah. you've captured the right tone. Okay, thank you so much, Ken. Thank you. Yep.